Welcome. All right, so in this example, uh, this one's not so bad, but you can see I have the unit circle. And what we're trying to do is evaluate for our two points between 0 and 2 pi that are going to correspond when cosine of theta equals 1 half. Um, so remember, when we're talking about the cosine of theta, the cosine of our angle theta represents, not the y, but the x-coordinate on our unit circle. So all we need to do is look at our unit circle and determine when is my x-coordinate, what point up there is when my x-coordinate equals 1 half, and what angle is that going to be. So if we look at this, if we look at our first quadrant, we can see that the cosine of theta um, is equal to pi thirds. So therefore, we could say theta equals pi over 3. But the problem says find all the angles that are between 0 and 2 pi. So remember, 0 and 2 pi is, makes one revolution of a circle. So if I know that pi over 3 um, is going to be by angle pi, thir or pi thirds, right? I need to determine another angle that's going to have the same coordinate, 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Well, if what we notice is this is going to be a direct reflection of this angle right over here. So now I just need to determine this angle because you can see that these are going to have the exact same coordinates of comma 1 half, comma square root of 3 over 2. But now the y coordinate is negative. But we don't care about the y coordinate. We just care about the x coordinate. When is the x coordinate equal to 1 half? And that's going to be at these two points. So I know this angle is pi thirds. Well, if I broke it to third, pi thirds, 2 pi thirds, 3 pi thirds, 4 pi thirds. 5 pi thirds. So it's going to be pi thirds and also 5 pi over 3. And remember, our angles have to be positive to be between 0 and 2 pi. Thanks.